We're in the green and black tonight, DU in the 70th anniversary jerseys this evening that were brought out last year. North Dakota, Denver, and we are underway. Kawaguchi, the captain this year, up to Adams. Now mismatch, here they come three on suit chance. Adams leaving it for mismatch. Grant mismatch shot gloved by Krona, right at the top of the crease. A lot of congestion there in neutral ice, and Yako Hakenen can come away with the puck. Leaving one for Griffin, Mendel shot on frame, seal, back-to-back -back saves. Taking the spot of Ian Mitchell, former captain that's moved on to sign for the Blackhawks, and Carter Savoy has himself a power play goal. Second straight game with a tally for the freshman, and Denver is on the board first. Great presence again, Bobby Brink once more. Bernard Docker in the dying seconds. Puts one on frame that Krona hands away. Ryan Barrow still with it on the backhand and Shield there for the save. On that in his career as the U's got an odd man rush here. Savoy played well by Sanderson. Well, there you go. You get a look at a great player right there. A good stick by Sanderson. What does Carl Gehring's power play have up its sleeve here? How about a goal? Jake Sanderson opens his account on the power play. The freshman makes it one to one with two. 44 left in the seconds. Well, Jasper Weatherby goes and grabs that puck right away. That's the first collegiate goal for this guy that everyone's been talking about, Jake Sanderson. And a great play by Grant Mismash. He draws the defender with him and then, then opens up the one-timer option. A great pass by Kirsted. He's so good one-timing it himself, but again, puts it right into the wheelhouse for Sanderson. Second game. UMD, by the way, will be in action on Sunday, 4 o'clock against Miami. Action right now, and a goal here for Denver! Right off the jump, 30 seconds into the period. The Pioneers right back on top. So just all around, everyone excited to have college hockey back on the air. Yeah, it has been great the last couple of weeks with the Big Ten getting things going now. The NCHC in full swing as Kirstead fires with a couple of assists tonight, and now a two-on-one chance for the Pioneers. Olashevsky with break with him. Bobby Brink gets the chance here. Nice shot by Bernard Ducker to break up the play. Ends up at down. Send in there. Throwing it in front. Ness was right on the doorstep, but could not direct it home. Griffin Ness. Gabe Bast. Another save into this period. Sanderson, the lone North Dakota goal scorer, leaving it for Frisch. The sophomore demon finds the top corner. And we are all knotted up at two. Ethan Frisch from the points. You want to see how special a hockey player is? This is going to be all Jake Sanderson here. So many people would not have the patience. Watch this. So many people would just chip that to the corner. What's he do? He makes the spinorama. He throws the puck to Frisch. We got net front in front of uh, Magnus Krona. And there's a player skeets right in front of you. He loses track of that puck. But again, folks, this is all Jake Sanderson by making a heads up play. Two of the contenders for national championship honors this season is Weatherby! Skates in and finds the back of the net! For the first time tonight, North Dakota is in front! A mistake at the back and the junior capitalizes! Unfortunately for Bobby Brink, I've been talking about him all night long. I think he's had an exceptional game and just an unfortunate play there in Weatherby. Just a great play. He slides a backhander right on the ice. He might catch Corona or Magnus Corona a little off guard there as that turnover alertly pops right out. One power play for Denver on the night. Kawaguchi in the box. Savoy in the back of the net. Second of the night for Carter Savoy on the power play. And down. Is overtime in our future or not? Kawaguchi coming forward. The touch pass that time was deflected away by... Adopted this. It was like you didn't really know how to play. Now it's just strategic. You take your chances. With Savoy, speaking of chances, nearly an opportunity for the hat trick for number... Key. Uh, communication amongst each other, sorting things out is what is key in this three-on-three. -three. Adams dropping it to Kawaguchi. Kawaguchi roofing one! And ending this one here tonight! Jordan Kawaguchi in three-on-three -three overtime, securing the victory for number one, North Dakota. 
Wow, your elite players need to be elite. Folks, you're going to see this. This is an NHL shot here. He's going to get in tight, and he absolutely comes in and just roofs this thing right into the top bar. And North Dakota finds a way to get the job done. What an up and down, back and forth, Graham. A, a great collegiate hockey game. As you see, he drives that net. Watch this. Uses his body as a shield. Defends off. He gets underneath that. Just scoops that up. It's the boys all over him right there. And he just gets up and under the bar. And an excellent shot. His first of the game. First of the year for Jordan Kawaguchi. This kid continues to make the plays that you remember. Jordan Kawaguchi, the captain.